Hey guys, here Mark the Geek. In this video, I want to show you a few guys a very cool app that I just discovered a couple days ago. It's called Cloud Goo. And what this app does is that it gets all your cloud services that you have um, and it creates a big, large virtual drive. Um, like you see, this app is compatible with all these cloud services Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, Box, SugarSync, and Amazon. Like you see, those are all very popular um, cloud services. Of course, there's a, there's still a couple more um, services that are not here and that you can't actually um, add it manually. But right now, by default, you got these um, six cloud drives that you can add. Now, let's go ahead back over here. Let's go ahead to home screen. Um, in the home screen, this is how it's going to look. Uh, you got your photos, you got your music, you got your videos, and you got your documents. Um, right here, like you can see right there, you can see the total size of all the drive together. Right now, between all the drives that I have um, linked to this um, app, I have 417.75 gigabytes, and I'm using only 6% which is only 26.03 gigabytes. Now that's a lot, a lot, a lot of cloud storage uh, and very, very small usage as well. Um, over here, if you tap on one of them, what you're gonna get is all your photos. For example, you're gonna get all your photos and all your photos are gonna be from every cloud drive you plugged into this app. Um, here you go to timeline. Um, here you can see um, by date, like for example, we'll go 2014. Uh, here, after you click on that, you got January, February, March. Click right there. And here you can see all the photos that has been backed up to my cloud drive um, in this month. Uh, one thing that I, I, I honestly um, hope uh, the, the, the developer of this app adds is the option for me to see what drive are these photos from. Uh, for example, if I tap on one of them, I can see all the photos that has been backed up. But I can't see what drive are they backed up to. If I tap on one of them, it is going to open. See right there, like you see right there, it opened the photo, but I still can't see where this is from. Uh, one thing that you can actually do here is that you can copy or you can uh, move. Let me see. This is, yes, this is move. And you can uh, say, you know what? I want to move this photo to my box, to my mod box. And like you see right here, it will be moving that to my box, which is very, very cool. And now it has been moved to my box. If I click right here, it'll let me copy. Let's say I want to copy this photo to OneDrive. And now it will copy the photo to OneDrive. Or over here, I could go ahead and just share the photo to whatever sharing services I have. Or I could go ahead and delete the photo and it will be deleted from the drive. But like I said, uh, one thing that this app needs in my opinion is a feature or an option here like you see right here it says list thumbs timeline another option that says drive and from there i could see uh let me see all the drives that i have now that's something that i wish the developer actually adds here to this app um same thing happens if you go to any category if i go to videos I can see the, the list of all the videos. And of course, there's going to be tons and tons and tons of videos because uh, all my videos are backed up to the cloud and from years, years past. And like you see right here, I got 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, March, February, January. If I click right there, you can see the videos from those respected months. Um, if I tap on one of the videos, it will if it if the video already cached in it will be cached in there and you could play it if not you could go ahead for example tap right here and it'll start downloading what it does is it, it installs a a downloads a portion of the video and from here like you see like you see that video is was downloaded and then you could play it 
that was a very short video but if it's a long video it's going to take a lot longer too um over here in settings you got my account which is uh the account that you create from cloud google you have to create an account and over here my drives you can see all the drives that you have for example i have two google drives and you can see um what size are those google drives i got 42 gigabytes here and i got 15 gigabytes here one drive i got 228 gigabytes and you can see the usage that i'm um i'm using from that drive over here dropbox i got over 77 gigabytes and i'm using 29 percent over here my box which is box i have 50 gigabytes and i'm using just zero percent over 11 uh, megabytes and right here you can see my amazon five gigabytes um very very cool um it's very easy to add an account all you gotta do is click right there add a drive i'm gonna go ahead and add another box account that i actually own very easily so here you're going to enter your email and your pa password so i'm going to do that right now okay so once you enter the information of your cloud account you just go ahead and set authorize and grant access and now i have another drive another 50 gigabytes storage and from here you can also change the name of the of the drive if you want for example go ahead and just put two and that's it and go ahead and click save and now like you see right here now i got more storage 467.75 gigabytes so like you see you can add more drives it doesn't matter how many google drives you have it doesn't matter how how many dropbox or how many box you have you, there the the size is whatever you want um here offline here you could control the the on the cache that you want that this app use on your phone for example it says cache stuff i use so i can access it offline uh, by default i think it's off or on i don't know but from here you can control up to one gigabytes you can say you know what i'm gonna go ahead and put up to i wanted to um, store up to one gigabyte right now i think my phone is kind of fold the storage and that's it uh, when you're done with everything you could go ahead and clear your cache that way everything you've seen like videos and photos that you've seen um, by tapping on a, on a photo or on a video it will be deleted from the from the storage that of the phone but it will still keep it in the cloud um, uploads uh, this section right here is very very cool uh, by default this is going to be off enable automatic upload uh, i recommend if you're not using um, this the auto backup from cloud uh, google drive or from dropbox i rec recommend turning it on and the great thing here is that you can actually choose what you want to auto backup to your, your cloud and for example i could go ahead and, and um, disable photos because I'm using Dropbox and I'm using my Google account to up back up my photos. I could go ahead and say, you know what, cancel my documents because I'm using Dropbox for that. But I could go ahead and leave, for example, I could leave videos and music. And right here, you could select uh, let Cloud Google decide where, where where the apps wants to go and upload the video, the videos and music. But I rather choose myself so the great thing here is that you can actually choose what photos or videos or music or documents go to what drive uh, for example videos I want my videos to go to OneDrive because uh, that's the biggest drive um, music I want my music going to my Amazon and now I got all my music is going to my Amazon and all my videos are going to uh, OneDrive. Um, over here you can select the photo upload size. Original, small or medium. I just always select original. And that's it. Over here you click back. Uh, another thing to make sure, make sure you have Make sure you have upload only via Wi-Fi. That way it won't drain your battery and it won't um, use your data. Uh, so Wi-Fi for me is the best option right there. And uh, let's see what you can do here. I showed you uploads. I showed you offline. You can share this app or you can log on of this app. And like I said, this 
app is just came out very very recently like you see it says cloud goo version 1.0 so obviously uh by the time you watch this video most likely there's going to be a lot of the issues that i find in this app um like maybe fixed or added um and and uh, right now the price of this app is 99 cents which i think it's totally worth it for what it does but it says that it's only temporary so by the time you watch this video too i don't really know if it's still gonna be um 99 cents it could be 199 299 399 i have no idea but this has this app is truly truly awesome it has a lot of potential of being a lot better and um if i can like i said before if i can manage um, a drive and specifically if I could go to my Dropbox and um, I'll create a folder or upload individually things that I want to that drive that would be awesome and that's it guys so um, let me know what you guys think about this app I think honestly it's a very 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 well worth it and something that I was um, always wanting uh, to get all my cloud drives in one only app which is awesome look at that that is insane having all these apps uh, cloud services in one app which is and it looks very very nice but like i said this is just version one so by the time you watch this video there might be like three or four more updates already done to it so guys thanks for watching this was a look at cloud goo for android devices